Good morning, world. Good morning, Linux. Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, for this Good Morning Linux, we're going to take a look at the latest beta. Linux Mint 19 MIDI, Mate, or it's pronounced Mate. And uh, we'll see how this looks. I did a recording earlier uh, without sound. I'll just play back the video and give you my thoughts. So once again, good morning. I just had my breakfast. I'm feeling good. And we'll get started here in a few minutes. I believe all the Linux Mint editions should be released uh, at the end of this month of June. I took a look at the Cinnamon version, looks pretty good. Looks polished as they all do, really. Once again, the background music is from the YouTube audio library featuring the music of Silent Partner. Free downloads from the YouTube audio library. So <clears throat> let me get situated here once again. Um, stop by and say hello. I believe all the betas should be available by Monday, if I am not mistaken. All right, so we'll do a quick sound check. Make sure everybody can hear me looking good on my end. Very good, it looks good there. All right, let me do one more thing here and then we'll get started. I think I'll just pop out the chat, so give me a second here. Make it a little bit easier for me. Hi Ben, good morning. How are you? Yeah, Linux Mint 19 is looking pretty good. Uh, cannot complain at all. So, yeah, so far. Of course, I've done my tests in VirtualBox, not in actual hardware, but I don't suspect any issues. The one thing I have noticed using VirtualBox and Ubuntu Mate, when I run VirtualBox, my panel, my Ubuntu Mate panel just freezes. Could be the, it could be the new software, it could be the hardware that's outdated, I'm not sure. Just another headache. Uh, anyway, good morning Spin Viking, how are you? Let me go ahead and transition here, give me a moment. Alright, you guys should all be able to see this now. Right, I'll give us a few more minutes if anybody else wants to jump on, then we'll take a look at what I recorded earlier. I have uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon in, in one of my ThinkPads, Linux Mint XFCE in my older ThinkPad that had Windows XP, and I have Linux Mint Mate in my backup desktop. They just work. It's that simple. What I might do in my backup desktop uh, is erase Mint and maybe just put Peppermint OS, something a little bit faster. I'll probably do a video on how to uh, safely delete Linux and keep Windows 10, if you so choose to. All right. Before we get started here, I'm not sure what's going on, but I got a couple of error messages uh, from PayPal. Apparently for me right now, this monthly pledge, this monthly donation uh, feature is not working for me. I've got two emails from two different supporters. I am not sure what's going on. Uh, those of you who donate, who tried to donate this way, thank you. 
Uh, for me right now, it's not working. You are not being charged. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to try and find out soon. I believe I still sent emails, even if this doesn't work, because it's not your fault. But if this doesn't work, I might have to go back to Patreon again. That's another headache I didn't need, but what am I going to do? Anyway, uh, just a heads up on that. It is not your fault if that does not work. Okay? All right. So, let's go ahead and minimize that. You built the Linux from scratch. Ben, you have a lot of patience, more than I do. All right, so let's run into the review here. Again, this was shot without sound. And we'll see what we have. This is the latest Linux Mint 19 Mate Beta. The very nice welcome screen. Looks obviously more updated, refined, polished. Welcome to your new operating system. This will guide you through the first steps. System snapshots. This is to set up automatic system snapshots. This reminds me a little bit of the system restore feature in Windows 10. And it's about time somebody in the Linux world simplified this. All you got to do is click that green launch button to set it up. And it's not that difficult. We have driver manager set up, multimedia codecs, update manager like you see here, security updates, software updates, system updates. Uh, easy, in my opinion, for beginners to the world of Linux. Um, I remember when I first started with Linux with Ubuntu, I jumped from Ubuntu to Linux Mint. And it was really Linux Mint that made me realize the potential for Linux to make it more user-friendly out of the box. So this is the update manager here. Now you see the highlight there. It says, please set up system snapshots. And this is how you do it. Uh, select snapshot type, snapshot type. RSync or BTRFS, right now, to be honest, this is brand new. And I don't know which one is better. I'll have to take a look at this. But there are two ways to set up your system snapshot. And snapshots are created by creating copies of system files. So I proceeded with this and it didn't really take that long. It might run even faster uh, running this as a full, um, full install in real hardware. Select snapshot location. Of course, it was in my VBox. So pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Of course, this will not support Windows systems such as FAT and NTFS. <laughs> of course, duh. Yeah, snapshot levels, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, or boot. Um, a maintenance task runs every once hour. Interesting runs once every hour click next setup complete and finish and that's how you do uh, system snapshots looks like the software uses time shift uh, I don't use this to back up stuff in Linux I use uh, multiple external hard drives to back up all my important stuff it's just easier for me and I trust that more all right documentation documentation features and release notes again if you are completely new to this you need to go through this web forums IRC chat do not skip this welcome screen if you are new because you will be lost eventually um, in my opinion so uh, I did not run all the updates again I was just testing this in a VBox but after installing yes you should run all of the updates you may have to reboot it's okay then move on from there. Going down back down to the panel, we have clock preferences, 12 hour, 24 hour, uh, weather option. Um, I like to just right click on the panel and add the weather applet uh, for the weather report. Uh, Mate has the best, the best weather uh, applet, weather app in Linux, period. It just works. It's simple. And yeah, I wish all Linux um, distros had that kind of weather report. I did install Kazam to record this. So right click at the panels you see here, weather report, and you can add any city. Uh, I, I chose to go with, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I chose to go with Miami. Uh, let's go back to weather there, there we go. 
uh, right click preferences and location I just type in under find whatever whatever city you wanted to and um, and that's how the weather applet works it's simple no hunting for weather codes and all this stuff I mean it's I think at cinnamon you have to multiple steps to, to set a weather location I mean it's 2018 I don't want to do that all right, there's the weather forecast in um, Miami. All right. And you can right click uh, to remove any applet um, on the panel. Of course, Firefox is installed by default. Um, I think Chrome's going to run faster. Uh, Chromium will, will run faster. Firefox is much, imp much improved. But I believe it's still the slowest out of all the Linux browsers, in my opinion. And of course, the Linux Mint start page. I believe this version of Linux Mint is called Terra. Uh, easy way to move the panel. I like to move it to the top. Just right-click on the panel and select top, and that's it. That's how simple it is. This uses the Kaja or Kaha file manager. Simple, basic, easy to navigate. Again, self-explanatory. Icon view, list view. Basic stuff. You can right click on the desktop, of course. And we can check out different wallpapers. And let's see what we have here. Nice selection. Looks, looks like about 30 plus wallpapers. Um, I think I chose something with the night. Uh, I chose this one here with the bridge, but I guess it was purposely shot fuzzy, which I don't like. So I changed it. Um, uh, yeah, let's go to the next wallpaper here in a second. And let's see, I picked the one with the city should be coming up. There it is. That looks pretty nice. That is very nice wallpaper of some place in the world. The classic mint menu, the advanced mint menu. I've always liked this from the beginning. You can toggle between applications and favorites. Again, basic. If you are coming from any Windows environment, this is pretty basic stuff. CPU usage, very low. The, this is a dual core, 22%, 12% usage, memory less than a gig, very nice. I only gave this about 2 gigs of RAM in the virtual box and it's running fine. Uh, I believe with this you should have at least a gig to run this uh, to get this uh, started. Um, accessories, again lots and lots of software, I won't go through all of this. Um, Redshift. Supposedly to make uh, a little bit easier on your eyes at night. It's something I don't really mess with. I wear contacts, usually sometimes glasses. Uh, but you can check out Redshift. Color temperature tool. And you can right click to turn it off. Let's go back to the menu there. All right, don't need Redshift again. Let's move on. Accessories, let's go to graphics. Of course, the GIMP, one of the best editing pieces of software for photos. LibreOffice by default, sound and video. I did install Kazam. System tools. We looked at the system. Uh, we, we did look at Redshift. Administration. Uh, let's take a look at the software manager. This is a pretty nice looking software manager. Very. Um, very colorful for lack of a better term um, again software by category it's again this is Windows friendly uh, it's really friendly for anybody uh, let's see let's go to sound and video and go to video and lots to choose from here uh, let's see, I believe I installed something here earlier. What did I install? I'm 
I'm not sure what icon set is this, but it looked pretty nice. Let's go to sound. Oh, I installed Clementine. Very nice music player. So you highlight Clementine, click install. And that's what you do. Follow the instructions. Additional software to be installed. You type in your password. And there is an install progress bar right there. Top right. I believe Rhythm Box usually comes installed by default. Been using that for years. It seems okay. Of course, you have lots of choices for media players for Linux. I don't know if Clementine is for Windows. Um, yeah, I don't know. I believe Audacious is. I use that one too. All right, it installed. You just click launch and it'll launch Clementine. There you go. So overall, in this quick review, quick look, a superb release. Uh, pleasing on the eyes, easy to navigate through. Wonderful for beginners, self-explanatory, out of the box, a revamped welcome screen, uh, which should be mandatory for newbies, for, for, for beginners. Uh, I took a look at startup applications if you want to speed things up. Bluetooth, I removed the flat pack. I probably wouldn't use, remove that on startup. And for myself, um, yeah, the on-screen reader would not need, probably even Mint Update. I mean, for me, I don't really need, uh, so I would remove that uh, to speed things up. But overall, a very nicely polished, as 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 they all are. Uh, I believe the this will be the last year for Linux Mint KDE version. So you're looking at uh, what Mate XFCE Cinnamon. And I believe there is an upcoming Debian version, uh, not for beginners. You could also install software by uh, through the search bar there, and it'll search the web. And in this case, I wanted to install Simple Screen Recorder. Just follow the instructions. Again, very beginner friendly. Um, truly a stellar release. You know, so, someone asked me what's the difference between uh, Ubuntu Mate and Linux Mint Mate. Really, it's it's a matter of cosmetics. They both work wonderful out of the box for beginners. Yeah, it's just a matter of cosmetics. I chose to go with the Ubuntu Mate because of the uh, added features such as the um, panel changer, the seven, I think it's seven options to change the look of your desktop that's built in Ubuntu Mate. But other than that, yeah, Linux Mint Mate is fine. You notice there is a right click to delete option that's built in, turned on by default in Linux Mint Mate that have not seen that in other Ubuntu distros. And another look at the update manager. All right, that is my quick look at um, Linux Mint Mate. I'll let this repeat, let this play, and you guys can take a look at it. I'm gonna take a look at your comments here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Johan, how are you? Howdy, Chase. Yes, Mint is very simplistic. Uh, it just works. Uh, XFCE is pretty good too. I do have XFCE Linux Mint installed in one of my ThinkPads. Um, it's a little bit faster. Of course, Linux Mint releases when they are ready, not on a uh, set schedule, as it were. Again, you should be able to install the final version of this probably at the end of this month.
And of course, uh, Linux Mint made an announcement. They will not be collecting data by default. None. There is no opt-in or opt-out as far as I know. For some of you, that's important. Right now with Ubuntu, for me, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but Linux Mint decided, at least for this release, not to go that route. My guess is they have been successful, very successful, um, Um, they have been successful fi financially and from a technology point of view that they don't need to do the the, uh, the uh, data collection. They get lots of donations uh, and they need them. Uh, sponsors uh, to keep this thing going. Jeez, it's been like 10 years now, Linux Mint. That's a long time in the Linux world um, for them to survive. So good for them. Uh, the end of June, Johan, yes. Everything should be done by the end of June. I believe all the betas will be released uh, by tomorrow uh, for testing around the world as far as I know. So I took a look at Cinnamon. Looks fine. This is Mate. The next one I'll look at is probably XFCE, maybe. Um, I mean, really with these, it's, it's more cosmetic stuff, um, you know, than any, uh, you know, deep hardware or deep software changes um, yeah the lightest of all of these will be XFCE then Mate and then Cinnamon based on my uh, previous tests although from what I understand they have boosted up the speed of Cinnamon to match that of Mate and XFCE supposedly uh, don't know that because I have not done a full install test but supposedly you would notice a, a performance improvement in Cinnamon so let me know if you guys test it. Uh, uh, test cinnamon. Anyone going to watch Apple's event on Tuesday? Uh, I'll just catch the highlights of my Alexa chase <laughs> the next morning. <laughs> I don't. I only have an uh, iPad Mini. Um, yeah, that's one of my regrets, not being able to test more Apple products over the years. Maybe in the future, I don't know. But, um, yep, yep, you know, like, it's one of those things, if I can't physically test it in my hands, I can only speculate. Um, you know, that's okay, but that's not the best way to give an honest opinion. You need to physically have it, touch it, feel it, use it. Um, yeah. But I'll, I'll catch up the updates on the next next morning. Uh, installing this on a VBox. Again, this has an automatic installer for beginners. You do not have to use custom part partitioning. Very easy. Um, yeah, it's, it's, again, it's just super easy, so. The Mint team has done a terrific job o over the years uh, to improve things as they move on and year after year. It is excellent. So, good morning, Steve. What what uh, what these distros need? What these different teams, Linux teams, need is to come up with their own. Multi multimedia suite of apps if it's if it's doable. So for example, Linux Mint should have their own video editor. Ubuntu should have their own video editor. Uh, you know, Kubuntu has its own Kden Live. And I've noticed with Kden Live that unless you run it in Kubuntu, it seems that it always in every other distro it always crashes. Always. You know, not every single time I use it, but crashing and it's it's very annoying and for me I chose not to go with Kubuntu um, but yeah I mean there should be an exclusive one for Linux Mint Ubuntu and so on and that's where Linux right now is dragging is it's not up to par with Mac and Windows in the multimedia de department it's gotten better much better but it's just not there yet and that's why I have Windows as my backup Yesterday I was um, editing the Linux Mint Cinnamon video and Caden Live crashed on me two or three times. And it's annoying because it just drags out the editing process. I have outdated 
hardware to start with and it's like you know a 30 minute project takes two three hours it's yeah and somebody asked me why I don't do more Linuxy stuff well that's one of the reasons why you know so in this video there was no editing done yeah Chase I have an iPad uh, mini 2 I bought a refurb for about a couple hundred bucks it still runs I don't use it every day um, I don't use it because I can't I can't log into Linux I can't sync it to my Linux desktop and that's very annoying so yeah, I don't think I've updated that sucker since last year so yeah <laughs> you dislike Apple do today lock you in jail well that's a plus and a minus, Chase. They have a higher quality apps, in my opinion. Uh, but it is locked. I mean, you, you can jailbreak it, as it were. It's something I'm not interested. Uh, but Mac OS works the way it's intended. I don't think they're lying to you. I don't think there's any deception when you buy it. You are buying it for a reason. And it, again, Mac is just a choice. You don't have to use it. And I don't, because I don't, I don't need it personally uh, to run this channel. I would have liked to have it for testing purposes, just to give viewers my honest opinion. You know. Yeah, Kaden Live is the premier video editor for Linux. Period. Uh, but once again, it's it always crashes. I'm doing something, and I think I downloaded the app image. Um, and like yesterday was kind of annoying so I like the software manager very nice very colorful I usually use the synaptic package manager because I've gotten used to it, but this is okay. Spin Viking, uh, some distros will allow you to create a USB stick with persistence. You have to click the persistence option to save the files. I believe UNET Bootin has that option. Not sure about the rest. So the answer is yes. On some Linux distros, you can do it. I believe Ubuntu based allows you to spin. Um, Antix, I think, will. Uh, MX17, I think you can. Um, I normally use uh, a live USB stick to test Linux distros. That's why I don't have to mess with, you know, a virtual box or Kaden Live freezing on me or crashing. But yeah, um, yeah, you can certainly save. Uh, I believe you can give it at uh, up to up to, up to two gigs of persistence. I could be wrong on that, Spin. I can't remember. I don't use that feature personally, but yeah. Chrome OS with Android, yes, it is interesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Always like the classic mint menu. It's different. It's their signature piece of software. Yeah. And again, once again, the startup apps, you can speed things up by removing some startup applications that you don't need. Somebody had mentioned for me to take a look at the, uh, the the new set of computers hardware with Threadripper. 
They're nice. They are really, really nice. That would definitely handle video editing in online gaming. They're expensive. A decent one probably starts at about a couple thousand dollars from what I saw, you know, pre-built. That would be nice to have um, for the channel. For some gaming, mainly video editing, multitasking. Simple Screen Recorder, one of the best apps for recording your desktop. All right, I'll, I'll replay, I'm gonna let this uh, replay one more time for my look at Linux Mint Mate, and then I'll wrap this up for this, uh, good morning Linux for this Sunday, June the 3rd. Love that wallpaper. So once again, definitely take a look at the Linux Mint welcome screen and follow it if you are a beginner. It will simplify things tremendously. And hopefully if you read this, it will stop you from saying, man, Linux sucks. You know, in the past I would get that and I would ask, did you read the documentation? No. Well, well there you go. I know who has patience to read. Well, you know, we used to do that before tablets. Before cell phones, we actually grab the book or a paper and it's called reading. Wow, what an interesting concept. By the way, installing the multimedia codex was very easy. It was, was not a problem. If anybody out there tries this, maybe you guys can let me know what's better, R-Sync or BTRFS for system snapshots, because right now, this is new to me, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. This is for Linux for their version of what appears to be a system restore. Again, I back up um, all my important files on multiple external drives as far as backuping goes. I don't use software to backup, I use hardware. It's just easier for me, so yeah. <laughs> Snowflake generation, don't read. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. I, I actually still read a newspaper every once in a while, Clive. Imagine that, yeah. Setup complete. And this is a piece of software called Time Shift, which I have not used. I think that's a game for Xbox, if I am not mistaken. Time Shift. Yeah, I guess it is. YouTube is the new uh, newspapers, and we are all reporters. Yep. I would think so. Snapshot, uh, Johan Snapshot would be enough. Honestly, this is all new. Uh, well, that feature is new, so I, I honestly don't know, and I'm not afraid to ask. So if one of you guys in the audience have messed with that, uh, please share it. Yeah. 
I mean, the only system restore features I ever used was in Windows um, way back, and it worked. I would think once a week. Um, yeah. I'll have to do some research on that once the, the full, once the final version is released. Uh, maybe, you know, give some advice about that in the future, but right now I just don't know. This has been my look for at Linux Mint 19 Mate the beta version. Again, the, the final re uh, final release of this should be by the end of the month. So it's probably going to stay on the top 10 list on Distro Watch, maybe number one. Again, Distro Watch is just a guide, but Linux Mint should be on the top 10 all the time. Well deserved for the team. Um, yeah. to get a comment um, was it last night um, someone got the live notification like an hour and a half after I went live or something like that yeah I, I apologize for that those of you get the notifications late um, I'm not sure what to do to fix that I know that's annoying for everybody including myself um, the only I can think is to just bypass that notification all uh, YouTube's algorithm altogether and just set up a, a set schedule week after week. That way you guys know. But um, I'm going to have to upgrade the, the, uh, what I have here just, just to simplify things for me. And, you know, if and I've, I'm having a few issues now with a little bit of problems with PayPal. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to go back to Patreon. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Bitwarden, I do not use that. And memory usage less than a gig. It's about half of what Ubuntu GNOME uses, and that's quite a difference. Quite a difference. Again, with Ubuntu GNOME, make sure you have at least four gigs of RAM uh, to uh, to enjoy it. Okay, let me uh, get out of this. Why don't we uh, wrap it up with some humor? Um, Friday night was, the, of course, the what I call the TTIF. Thank Toss, it's Friday stream. It was Friday night at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And we wrapped it up with some humor. I'll play some of it for you. Let me go ahead and shut down the music. Um, thank you, Ben. Yeah, it's, it's just... It's just um, I'll survive. I will manage. You know, it, it was mentioned Friday night, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And that's what I did with AdSense. And now I'm paying the price for it. I have to blame myself. It's easy to rant and rave at YouTube, but I should have known better. It's, it's, I have to blame myself. Just be honest. Look in the mirror and say, dummy. Okay. But anyway, I'm sure the community will pull through for this channel. It's just a matter of time, so... Let me go ahead and um, 
Let me go ahead and uh, let's see if I can get this here running to where at the point where I want it to start. I'm going to have to turn up the volume here. In a, uh, let's see. Let me know if you guys can hear this. So I had uh, Tom from Switch to Linux, of course. I had Colin and Joe. South. Right. Very well, if I produce it well. So I'm going to play with you uh, towards the end of the stream from Friday night. Actual church announcement bloopers. Uh, I do not make this up. These have been around for years, maybe some of these 20 years. Uh, and I hope you enjoy them. That were not proofread, or someone doesn't understand English. Okay. For those of you who have children and don't know it, we have a nursery downstairs. Uh, the eighth graders will be presenting Shakespeare's Hamlet in the church basement on Friday at 7 p.m. The congregation is invited to attend the tragedy. Oh, uh, this. This being Easter Sunday, we will ask Mrs. Lewis to come forward and lay an egg on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> the preacher will preach his farewell message, after which the choir will sing, Break Forth with Joy. Uh, Thursday night, potluck, supper. Prayer and medication will follow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sounds like a Jim Jones thing. Yeah, there's there's hundreds of these. I won't do all. Of, maybe I'll split them up through the course of a month or so. There's like a couple hundred of these at least. Okay, let's see. Um, scouts are saving aluminum cans, bottles, and other items to be recycled. Proceeds will be used to cripple children. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the outreach, bless the Lord for humor, right? Yeah. The, out, the outreach uh, committee has enlisted 25 visitors to make calls on people who are not afflicted with any church. Afflicted. Evening massage, 6 p.m. <laughs> okay. Uh, the pastor would appreciate it if the ladies of the congregation would lend him their electric girdles for the pancake breakfast next Sunday morning. <laughs> I've been going to the wrong church, let me tell you. Man. Something so simple. Oh, God. It's... Okay, what else do I have here? Start off the show with these. This is still family, right? I, I think, okay, all right. We're good. All right. The, aud the audience is asked to remain seated until the end of the recession. Okay. Uh, Take a while. <laughs> Low self-esteem support group will meet Thursday at 7 to 8.30. Please use the back door. <laughs> Ushers will eat late covers. <laughs> ah. Oh, my God. The, the the Hannibal Church. Yeah, yeah, right. The third verse of Blessed Assurance will be sung without musical accomplishment. <laughs> the reverend, they give a name, the reverend spoke briefly, much to the delight of the audience. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, uh, next Sunday, Mrs. So-and-so will be soloist for the morning service. The pastor will then speak on it's a terrible experience in quotations. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Due to the due to the rector's illness, Wednesday's healing services will be discontinued until further notice. <laughs> oh my God! This is real. This is um, obviously a typo. The music for today's service was all composed by George 
in celebration of the 300th anniversary of his birth. Wow. 300th, yeah. <laughs> Remember in prayer the many who are sick of our church and community. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god for safe returns. <laughs> the the concert held in fellowship hall was a great success special thanks are due to the minister's daughter who labored the whole evening at the piano which has usually <laughs> fell upon her <laughs> oh my uh 22 members were present at the church meeting held at the home of Mrs. Someone last evening. Mrs. Crutch and Mrs. Rankin sang a duet, The Lord Knows Why. <laughs> yeah. uh, a song fest was hell at the Message Methodist Church Wednesday instead of held. Um, <laughs> let's see what else. What else is here? I'm gonna end this here in a minute. Got a little spell check, right? <laughs> yeah, really. This is this is probably my all-time favorite. It's so simple, it's dumb. Don't let worry kill you off. Let the church help. <laughs> uh, pastor is on vacation. The pastor is on vacation. Massages can be given to the church secretary. <laughs> Uh, this is the last one. The rosebud on the altar this evening, this morning, is to announce the birth of Mr. So-and-so, the sin of Reverend and Mrs. So-and-so. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I, th I think I'll end it. That was a whole bunch. But uh, actual church bulletin bloopers. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's uh, they're still funny almost twenty years later. Some of them are that old, you know. <laughs> when I first lived. You know. the comments. <laughs> uh, yep, you cannot make the stuff up, Steve. You are absolutely correct. Um, uh, there are hundreds of these, maybe thousands. I'll have some more maybe in the next Friday show. Uh, you know, I've been doing this channel now for over eight years. And the most enjoyable, one of the most enjoyable things to do is is this, you know, uh, sharing a laugh. And no operating system can beat that. All right? Laughter is contagious, so... Um, I was happy to share these church bloopers from, from the web. <laughs> Funny stuff. Yep, always proof always proofread your your uh, your you know your stuff, your writings and uh, you know, once it gets on the web, it's difficult to take it back. So <laughs> I wanna thank again uh, Joe, uh, Colin and of course uh, switch to Linux for staying up with me late. Uh, Friday, I think we were done around one o'clock. I lost track, but we had other guests come on. We had uh, Tim, uh, we had Rocco from uh, Destination Linux. Um, yeah, it, it, uh, we had we had Ben. Uh, yep, Ben. They were. It was it was funny as as bleep. Absolutely. There's a lot more coming, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. But yeah, after eight years, this is the most enjoyable. You know one of the most enjoyable things for me to do so I hope to do this for eight years and more so again support the channel if you can and we'll keep this this community going uh, this human community not just about uh, technology but uh, yeah they were they're just funny stuff even with the news nonsense I did with Spatch you cannot make that stuff up real life is more ridiculous than the, than the made up stuff and I think the fact that it is uh, real stuff, you know, real uh, happenings is more funny because the fact that it's real. People actually do stupid things, and we all do it. Just be honest, we all do stupid things. You look back and say, what that bleep was I thinking? Anyway. All right, last call for comments, and we'll wrap this up. I want to thank everybody once again uh, for joining me for this Good Morning Linux. Don't forget to check out all the links below in the show notes. I do provide some free audio downloads on archive.org. You can take a listen to those. I'll probably maybe even um, 
Friday nights. I may upload that as an MP3 file on um, archive. Um, editing from video to uh, to audio is not that it, it doesn't take that long so I don't mind doing that it doesn't take hours that's more like minutes so yeah so be on the lookout for that yeah let's take a quick look at the weather forecast for today uh, mostly cloudy highs in the upper 70s I guess that's not too bad so I got all my grass Cutting done, got my new batteries for my Black & Decker mower. It's awesome. Hit that button, and, ah, my nice quiet Lexus lawnmower. Ah, peaceful and smooth. Yeah, if you guys can do it, if you don't have multiple yards to cut, check out cordless lawnmowers. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. No gas, no oil, no mess, no muffler, no filter, no spark plug. Maintenance is a zero. Just change the battery once every, you know, two, three, four, five years, whatever it takes. You will not be disappointed. All right, I guess that'll be it then for this one. wrap this up here. I want to thank everybody for stopping by as always. Always a pleasure chatting with you guys. And uh, you know, one of these one of these days when I can, I'm, I'm going to get me a faster computer, you know, maybe a bigger desk, multiple desks, multiple monitors. And when I do a, a, a Friday night or a weekend stream, I'm going to invite as many as you guys live as possible. You know, so instead of like four people on, I'm going to have like 20. You know, and just make a one big party fest. Um, I probably have to upgrade my Comcast to the faster uh, speeds, but uh, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I think you guys would enjoy that. So that's the least I can do when I can. So any anyway, sunny the whole week for you, Johan. You lucky dog, you. Yeah, right now it's 72. I'll take it. I need to drop off some recipes to my uh, son's mom. Someone was asking for some Italian recipes from last week's graduation party. I'm going to take care of that today. All right. Well, I'm going to say a cheers to all. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next one. So... Be safe. Again, the best OS, the best operating system is yourself. Use it wisely. Take care.